Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Little Step Studios again, and today I want to go over two topics. Briefly, I want to touch on the motifs that come with Max Stitch or Wind Stitch, and then I also want to go into more detail in colorways, which is a very useful feature. It has been available since uh, this version, the 2019 version, I believe. And it is a great way to be able to have multiple color options available for either yourself or whoever you want to be able to stitch your chart. And I'm going to actually select a motif and use that to demonstrate it. Now the motifs are down here. They're right under the palette. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you'll see a few different folders. And if we double click one, it's going to pop up with a bunch of different uh, images basically that were already designed and they have a whole bunch of different um, things you can choose from so misc apparently includes food as well it's just in case you're unsure where to find cake but um, I tested this out with this little octopus right here 30 stitches wide by 25 stitches high. These motifs are all listed in stitches, so they will vary a little bit in size depending on how you have selected your fabric. The octopus here, 30 by 25, so I'll click him and he will pop up as somebody I can click and paste on. I believe all of these motifs are for personal use only. You might want to double check on the Ursa Software website for that information. Um, so you can stitch them yourself, but I don't believe you're allowed to sell anything made with these motifs, so keep that in mind. Um, again, I'm not 100% confident, so just double check if you really like one and would like to use it. Um, this guy has three colors used. He has two teals and then a black for the back stitching. And so that we don't have to worry about all these threads, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all unused threads from the palette. And again, it's doing that thing where it doesn't wanna quite get rid of all of them. Oh, well, we just won't mess with the other colors, okay? So we have seen motifs I showed you. It's really not that difficult. It's a few, you know, simple different designs that are pre-made. You know, if you want just a quick flower to stitch up, it's a great place to find one, something like that. They're listed in stitches, so you can adjust them that way, but you can't really adjust them by size um, unless you go into resize the design, I believe. I think you could make them a little bigger or smaller that way. So colorways up here is where we will find colorways available and this will show us how they look we have our original design this is where the standard color is saved and then we can have three different alternatives and if i clicked on this now it's going to look the same because i haven't assigned any other colors for this particular design so i'm going to go ahead and keep it on the original and to actually change the different colors available, we're going to go to um, edit the current thread, not editing the colorways. So I'm gonna select, I'm only going to edit the two colors that are in the octopus. So I'm gonna edit this teal green first. And we see up here, we can change how the color looks. So if you have this thread in real life, and you find that this color isn't quite matching what you have, you could always change that by clicking on it and it's gonna open up one of these um, kind of dropper tools and you can edit that yourself. And then we have one, two, and three down here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna click here cause that'll just edit what the color looks like on the screen. I'm going to go down to colorway one and click on the little palette here. And this is going to pop up and I was using Weak Dye Works most recently. But let's say I want to provide anchor alternatives for stitchers who use anchor threads. And anchor is kind of nice because they edit things 
by color. So let's say I think the sea green dark 189 looks similar. And I think that would be a good alternative to this dark teal. So I'll go ahead and click replace. And that will be the first alternate color that I have. Then maybe I want to stay with an anchor and yeah, we'll do it with an anchor. But instead of green, maybe I want people to be able to stitch a purple octopus. And I kind of like this lavender dark. So I'll hit replace there. And that will give a purple option. And then for my last option, go down a week that works. I tested it out with them and they have a huge selection. And I remember I liked peacock. So let's say that these are the different colors that I want people to be able to see when they're stitching. So I'm going to click done and I will go ahead and show you briefly what it looks like. Um, the most visible difference is in colorway two. That's where we have the purple visible. And then colorway three is going to show us that work. You'll notice over here in the palette, nothing has changed because we're still assigning this DMC 3847 as the main color. And we are saying that the others are just alternatives if people want to be able to stitch them. So the palette over here is going to remain the same. And if you want to export those colors in a PDF, I'll show you how you can do that as well. But it is a little bit different. So again, in colorway one, we're working with anchor. I guess we went with sea green dark before. Let's go with this medium. It's different enough. And with two, we had anchor and purple. Again, we'll go two colors down. And then finally, we were in weak dye works. And I had peacock before. And let's just go with Lagoon. It's different enough that it should show up nicely. So again, we go back up. Instead of original, we can hit colorways one. So this would be the anchor alternatives that aren't too different from the original. And in two, we've got a nice purple option. And then in three, we have the work, sorry, weak dye works which would be those hand dyed flosses. So you can satisfy everybody perhaps with these options. And it gives you a few different ways that you can present your pattern. So if you do say a nice floral motif and you wanna see what it would look like in different colors, using colorways is a great way to be able to compare them really quickly without having to make a whole new chart or something. So. Now that we've got those done, if we want to have that available in the PDF, we just go down to export like usual and we will go for the entire chart for style. I'm just going to do symbols on color to make it simple. And then over here on the preview page, this is something that only pops up when you have some colorway selected. So you want to make sure that this box is checked and that way the different options are going to become available to you. So you do want to be careful about that. And then I want to make sure that I've got the comments on here because it shows the different colors, but I don't think it's quite clear enough. So I would just say original design is presented in DMC 3847 and 3848. Then anchor and weak dye work substitutions are shown in the color works. Um, box. <laughs> and we hit thumbnail view, and it's going to show how that will pop up 
and color choice. Um, boy, I don't know why it is not showing those at all. We'll see if that turned out okay. Bit iffy about him. Oop. Just save you. Documents. Let's save this as um, octopus colors. Yes. Oof. We are having fun messing up my color selection, aren't we? I look what this did. Sometimes it just gets like that. Um, this is a really good chart. <laughs> so why? And he's here all normal. I think we'll just try it again. it's okay this time okay so we've got octopus chart we can clearly see the two different colors in the octopus and then the back stitching we've got all of the colors listed correctly my notes are there and yes we've got the colorways here so you can see it doesn't provide any alternative symbols in the colorways but what it does do is it has them listed in a table so I just need to go across horizontally and I see which color I substitute based on the symbol. So I could associate the circle with anchor 189 or with 112 or with the weak die work selection. And the same thing with this little half, sorry, quarter circle. It's almost like a piece of pizza. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> and then that one could be for any of these four colors. So because we have three colorways available, it actually gives us four color choices for any given pattern. And you can have this done for alternative um, thread families. So if you want to have the DMC and the anchor selections, or you could have this as a totally different color choice like I did here with the purple octopus. But just remember, when you're exporting it, you do need to click on colorways in order for this to pop up. So otherwise it is very much the same as any other design. So I hope you like this quick video on how to add in a motif and how to use colorways. And please check out some of my other videos. If you'd like more help with Max Stitch or Win Stitch, you can also always leave me a comment if you have any questions about how to do something in particular. And otherwise, I hope you guys have fun designing your own patterns. Have a great day.